Are you looking for a portable solar panel that is able to put out some serious power? Welcome to the Hippie Geeks. Let's take a look at the All Powers 400 Watt Portable Solar Panel and get it hooked into our system. You know how much I love good packaging, and the folks over at All Powers did a great job with this unit. This actually came with an inner and outer cardboard box, though I have already removed the outer one as the post office beat it up pretty well before it got to us. The inner box looks great though, and it appears that the panel arrived in one piece. Inside of this box is the panel itself, along with some high density foam to keep it from getting beat up in shipping. On the outside of the storage bag, you can see all of the electrical specifications, including its open circuit voltage and short circuit current. There is also a little diagram about how to get the best power from it, including not pointing it at the ground or to expect much when it is cloudy out. All of that information is printed onto the back of the cable bag that this unit has, and it is easy to unzip and see what all comes with the solar panel. The first thing you will notice is the short MC4 cables that are connected directly to the unit, which you can use if your system is able to use them. For any units that do not use MC4 connectors, there are also a couple of different adapter cables that just about all solar power generators have. First up as an MC4 to barrel plug adapter that can be used for the two most common sizes of barrel plugs. If you remember the Rock Pals review that we did a while back, it uses barrel connectors to get power in. The other adapter that it comes with is an MC4 to XT60 cable, and between those two adapters plus the MC4 connectors themselves, you should be able to hook this up to just about any system as long as it meets the requirements. All right, let's open this portable panel up and see what it looks like. There are five panels connected together with this unit, and they unfold in an interesting way as there are an odd number of them. They open up pretty easily, and if it is the middle of summer, you would just be able to lay the panel flat like this and get the full power that is available. However, most folks are probably going to need to use the kickstands that are built into this unit to angle it towards the sun. So let's check out if that is something that I am going to be able to do by myself, or if I am going to need some help. First up, I am going to leave the first panel unfolded and tilt the entire thing up on its end. I am then going to grab the first kickstand at the bottom to release the Velcro that keeps it attached to the panel and pull it back. Then I can set the panel on that leg and move to the next one. I am just going to move along, unfolding the panel and pulling out the leg for each panel as it is unfolded. And soon enough, I will have the entire thing set up and ready to go. Here we are taking a closer look at the legs and their supporting straps. And I really love that each panel has its own leg, which makes this entire unit super stable once it is set up. I have seen a lot of these larger panels that only have a couple of legs or even just one that is supposed to hold the whole thing up and it just never works as well as something like this. Everything appears to be sturdy and well attached, but only time will tell how everything holds up as we use this over the next year. Heading over to the front side of the unit, I am going to zoom in on the solar collectors themselves so that you can take a look at how they are made and how they are all held together. This unit is quite a bit larger than the 100 watt portable panel that I have had for years now, and this one looks like it should hold together just as well as all of the fabric is heavy duty and the stitching looks very solid as well. Speaking of heavy duty, let's get this thing folded up and see how hard it is to carry around. Folding it up is pretty much exactly the reverse of what I did to set it up, and I am just going to fold each panel in and let the kickstand legs close up as I fold it all back together. Doing it this way makes sure that there isn't too much strain on the panels at any point, and it is super easy to do. As you can see here, the legs just fold back in, and the Velcro holds them in place as they are closed, so you don't have to worry about the flapping around and keeping you from closing it all up securely. Once all of the panels are folded together, all you need to do is connect the two clips that hold it closed, and we are ready to carry it around. I believe this thing weighs just over 40 pounds, and while that is not the lightest thing in the world, it is also pretty easy for me to carry on one side of my body without too much effort. I can tell you that it is definitely lighter than the 450 watt solid panels that we have in the main array, and when this is all folded up, it is certainly much easier to transport around. With all of that said, let's see what kind of power I am able to get out of this compared to our larger fixed panels that you can see in the background. I hooked the All Powers 400 watt portable solar panel up to one of our 40 amp MPPT controllers, which is the one labeled left on the image showing on the screen. 
The one labeled right is the larger fixed solar panel that is part of our existing array. The clouds were coming and going today, so I was not able to get a full wattage test of the unit, but you can see here that the All Powers unit was putting out 311 watts, while the 450 watt panel was putting out 339 watts, which is about what you would expect to see in a comparison between the two panels. I am sure that if the sun ever comes out completely, this unit will put out the full 400 watts that it advertises. So far, I am thrilled with this portable solar panel, and I think that it is going to serve us well in the future. We are planning on getting the camper van on the road here soon, and we will be able to use this portable solar panel along with a portable power station to easily power everything that we need when we are camping. When not using it camping, however, I am going to be hooking this solar panel directly up to our existing main solar power system, which will give us a much needed 400 watt boost to our solar production every day. A big thank you to All Powers for sending us this 400 watt portable solar panel to use and add into our system. If you want to check out this unit along with their R2500 portable power station for yourself, Click on the link to their website in the description down below and use code THEHIPPIEGEEKS at checkout to get 10% off your entire order.